I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful back day. To another episode of Mr. Willis's Neighborhood. Today, our lesson, or the next few days, will be revolving around rockets. Eventually, hopefully, what I uh, would love to see you guys make is a rocket that looks something like this. Okay, this is this is an uh, an item that at the beginning of next school year we will plan on kicking off the school year by shooting off our rockets. There's another model rocket right here, and you can see the inside of the rocket. Of course, the nose cone pop popping off, containing a parachute. Now, unfortunately, our rockets will not have a parachute but the rockets that, that we build will have like a streamer. You can see the wadding right there, and you can see this is where the engine would go and of course the fins. <music> start building our rockets, the question of the day is, what does football plays, hugs and kisses, and tic-tac-toe have in common? <music> Correct. Let's set up our station for working on our rocket. Oh, look right here. This is Mr. Mate Mueller. I'm going to draw a little mustache on him. Looks nice, Mr. Mueller. So go ahead and lay out your newspaper. This way you have a nice clean area that uh, will, you know, so that you can make sure that you don't make a mess on your table. You will have a rocket tube, and I want you to decorate your rocket tube. You can see I've named mine the Willis Express, and I put some flames around the outside. Now, a ro this is <clears throat> one of the items you picked up on Tuesday, um, Tuesday morning on the drop-off. Okay, you will also have a bag, and inside your bag you have several things. First of all, you have, you have a napkin. <clears throat> you have... This right here will be used to attach our, uh, our string to our nose cone from the inside of the rocket. Go ahead and pour the bag out. You should have three corks, one, two, and three. Those will be used uh, to build the nose cone. You have a launch lug, which will go in the end of your rocket, but this is something I do not want you to put in until next school year. Okay, you will also have an eyelet. That eyelet will go on the bottom of one of your nose cones to connect your string to your nose cone. And then the string will be connected to your rocket with this, okay? And it'll make sense here in a little bit. Of course, you should have two pieces of cardboard. And these, card these pieces of cardboard will be what your fins will look like. You should also have some glue. This is wood glue. Actually, this is Gorilla Glue. And one thing I want you to know about glue is less is more. Okay, so the first thing, well, real quick, you notice that I used a Sharpie to write Willis Express and I used some colored pencils. This is totally optional. But the first thing and the most difficult thing that we will be building are our fins. Lines are drawn, then you will cut across your piece of cardboard to make your four fins. One piece of cardboard, now two fins. Do the same thing with the other piece. Cut from one side to the other. Be real careful on your cuts because you want your rocket to fly straight. So now you have four fins. And that's how many fins I'm gonna have on my rocket. I think it will fly better that way. Now, this portion is very, very important, and it's also the portion that you might get a little frustrated on. Gluing your fins is very, very uh, tedious. It also takes time. The one thing I will tell you is I'm going to take this toothpick, and I want you to know that less is more. 
That meaning if you think that you add more glue, it's going to stick better, you're wrong because it's going to take longer to dry. You want to, you want to go ahead and, and put glue on one of the fins like this and you don't add a ton, right? Okay. You just put it right there like that because it'll dry quicker like this. So just go ahead and put your glue on your fin. And then you want to make sure when you attach your fin that your fin does not go below because your rocket engine will burn it up. It's got to be a little bit above. Okay, so go ahead and attach the fin and you, got, you have to give it a good hold. Do not be impatient on this step. Go ahead and give it a, like a minute, maybe two before you actually let go. Be very patient on this step. This is really, really important. So um, this took quite a bit of time. Remember, patience is very important. Remember that less is more with the glue. Also, I want you to notice that all of my fins are, are right above the, the, the end of your rocket. If it goes over the end, remember that your fins will burn and you do not want that. For an extra re, re, little reinforcement, I like to take a little extra glue and, I, and see right here, and I like to rub the glue along the fin. This will help be an extra stabilizer. And you can have a little more on this. You can have a little extra stabilizer so that your fin will be intact. Okay, now once you feel like you have your fins done, you can go ahead and set your rocket like that. And let's go ahead and talk about some of the other pieces. The other pieces, including this is a launch lug. Now a launch lug is very important because see, when you attach your, when you're getting ready to shoot your rocket, you're gonna attach it to a long uh, metal rod, okay? And you are going to want to take a little glue and you're going to put it on one side, okay? This is how your rocket will be attached to the launch pad, okay? So you take, you take your launch lug and you put your launch lug right on the side of one of your fins. So it should look something like that, okay? Now I might want to bring mine up just a little, okay? Perfect. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about our nose cone. Notice you have three different corks. Now, you want to take one of the big ones and you want to put a little glue on it. Remember, less is more. S feather that out and then put your other nose cone like that directly on top. Hold, squeeze, maybe blow on it and let it do its thing. Let it dry totally, okay? Well, welcome back. Our nose cone is now, this joint is dried. Now we have to add the next nose cone. So again, follow the same process. Take a little glue, smear it on top. That might be too much. Excess, take a little excess off, okay? And then take this, the smaller one, and put it on top. And you're gonna squeeze it and you're gonna hold it Make sure it's, it's, it's all together and it's nice and stable and it's level. And then you're just gonna let it, you're gonna set it to the side and you're gonna let it dry. We're letting our nose cone dry and we're letting our wings completely finish drying with our launch lug. So you remember our launch lug. We're gonna talk about the string. Now on the string, you have this, um, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but this little piece of construction paper. Now, what I want you to do here, let me move the rocket over here so you can see a little better. Today, you take a little bit of glue and you put it, remember using a toothpick, you put it right here on the number two. Okay? Then you take one end of the string and you place it right in the middle of that glue. Then you take the one and you fold it over <clears throat> like that and press down and hold it. Then you put a little more glue right here on top and you take your three, ah, come here, come on three, and you fold that over and hold it. And then of course, set this to the side, okay? Now your nose cone is dry. Okay, right here you have a little eyelet. I want you to take your eyelet 
and I want you to screw your eyelet into the, into the cork. You're going to have to apply some pressure. And once you get it started, then you're going to be off and running. So there you go. See how it starts to take off? Great. Oh, my nose cone. Even though it's, if it's dry, it, might, it still might move on you a little bit, so be careful. Once you feel like you have that, uh, uh, your hole pretty, you know, has is, is been uh, screwed in pretty deep, then you'll take it back out. You're going to dip the tip in a little bit of glue like that. So this will help secure it and then go right back in and secure it tightly. I'm going to attach a little bit of glue to the side of this paper. Okay, I take a little, got a little too much. Okay, then you're going to kind of roll it up just a little bit. And you're going to take your finger and you're going to put this piece of paper in as far as you can down the top of your rocket. And that will attach the string to your rocket. Okay, once you have that done, then you take your other side of the string, like this, okay, and you're going to go ahead, I'm going to, see this is all frayed, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this back just a little bit, okay, then take your end, God, my finger, <laughs> and you're going to go through the eyelet, all right, and then go ahead and you're going to tie like you're tying a shoe tie the first knot pull tight then you're going to do the same exact motion I can't remember how I used to teach my kids how to tie their shoes something about bunny ears and loopy loops and pull it boy I'm gonna have to start that one over okay good now you might see a little bit of fray, so you could go ahead and take your scissors and just cut a little of that fray off. Not too much though. And there you go. You have a nose cone, your nose cone is attached to your rocket. Now, we're going to let everything dry. We're not going to put this in there yet, okay? Now it's kind of time to pick up a little bit of your area. Okay, so go ahead and clean off your toothpick. Put that on the napkin. Put your lid on your glue so your, your glue does not dry out. There might be some other projects that you can do around the house with, with uh, the glue. Take your launch lug and put it back in your container. I will help you do that next year, okay? Because I want to make sure that's done right because that's a very important step. If we don't have this, this done exactly right, your engine will shoot completely through your rocket and your rocket will not leave the launch pad. So that's very important. Um, now, we are going to have, I, I believe on April 24th, we're gonna have a video where Mr. Detweiler and I get together. Of course, we're gonna be practicing social distancing and we're gonna have a rocket shoot. Um, I've got a few rockets that I've got in my classroom. I've got a few rockets uh, from that I've built in the past. Uh, and he's going to bring some rockets in and we're going to have Briley videotape us shooting some rockets. And so you can see kind of what the day would look like. And of course, remember, we're going to have at the beginning of school, we are going to shoot these rockets off. So um, if you didn't have the opportunity to get a packet from me and you're anxious to build one of these rockets, please have your parents contact me via my email. Um, I hope everybody has had the opportunity to actually get them. Now, going along with the video, this is here's your assignments. First of all, your assignment is to build the rocket. Okay. The next portion of this assignment um, is going to be for you to look on Google Classroom. I will have sent you a space exploration history timeline questionnaire. I don't know, I think there's like 15 questions. I want you to go through there. I want you to look up some of the um, you know, famous things that happened in our space program. For example, who was the first person in space? Or uh, who was the first person to step on the moon? Some of those things you already know, but some of them you don't. Like possibly who was the first woman or went in space? Or what was the name of the first animal that went to space? 
So those are things for you to think about. I hope you guys enjoyed building your rocket. Please make sure you name it. Make sure you decorate it. Make sure you take your time and you have patience. Now, if you want to build more than one rocket, you, you definitely could. You just have to collect some things around, around the house. You could, you could collect cardboard like this. You could even cut toilet paper rolls in half and make those as fins. Those type of rockets will go like this. Now, hopefully you have construction paper around the house. Now you're wondering, how did I get that so tight? Well, you take a dowel rod that, si that size and you roll your construction paper on the dowel rod and you glue it and you let it sit for like a day before you actually start building your rocket. Um, of course, a straw you could use as your launch lug. Uh, you might have to go to Hobby Lobby or something like this to get some corks. You can maybe figure out something else. You could build a rocket with more fins than this. The only thing if you would build more rocket with having more fins than this is you would have a lot of drag. So your rocket won't go as high. You also want to make sure that your fins are even because if your fins are even, your rocket's going to shoot straight and it's really going to go high. So I can't wait to the day that we can actually shoot these off. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Mr. Willis' Neighborhood. And I look forward to uh, seeing you soon. And I look forward to our rocket shoot. Thank you very Next much. The thing I want to uh, tell you is, hey, we, we got into our rock candy. We wanted to see what they looked like. Some of them didn't grow as well as, as I thought they would. Hopefully you had a little more success than we did. Now this is like three to four days of growth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave these back in there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed making your rock candy and I hope you enjoyed building your rockets. Um, and we'll be seeing you soon.